Okay, so video five, I just want to do a general rundown of patient M and patient L statistically as well. Most people who know me know I do not support chemotherapy or radiation. I don't believe in destroying the body in order to fix it. It's the most ludicrous logic I've ever had, you know, been a part of. I believe in building the systems up. If it is an immune system problem, we need to fix it. We need to get the immune system and the body to function better, not destroy it further. But patient L, patient M, even though both on different spectrums of one being much older, the other one being more younger, having totally different cancers, the protocol for their treatments for chemo was, and surgery was exactly the same, even though it was different dynamics of the cancer. But for something that has a 3% statistical success rate, and that's not my opinion, that is the pharmacological oncology's um, research statistics, why, why are we still doing this? There are better ways. And for me, the better way is cannabis, especially to start, to start to see if healing the systems will be more effective than destroying them. Now, the statistic between a patient M and L for me is a 50-50, one out of two survived but it is still a much better statistic than 3%. If this is what this video does, if it just encourages people to look at the truth a little bit more closely, to ask the doctors the questions, or is the treatment successful? How many people have had successful treatment? How many people are living longer than five years? And another question, how much is this going to cost? Not only financially, but emotionally, mentally, to suffer like that. No. Peace, joy, happiness, love, those are the things that heal, not chemotherapy. And that they have proven over and over again. So, yes. Let's talk a different statistics in the next videos. Um, we are going to patient O and so forth. And we're going to look at patients who didn't do chemotherapy. They just started cancer, uh, cannabis. All right. Till tomorrow. Have a good day.